How's it going guys? This is Hail 3 Productions and today I'm going to show you how to get Hail 2 Vista for free and it's completely legal. I know that sounds a bit surprising because pretty much anything in life if it's free like you know like a video game or you know downloading movies it's you know probably you're probably stealing it but um I'm not going to go into explanation of why it's probably legal. Um, the website I will be using a little bit uh, actually explains exactly why it's free. Um, so, basically all you'll need is you'll need Halo 2 Vista, just, just a clean copy of it. You can get it through torrents, and no, torrenting is not illegal. It's really illegal if you're downloading, you know, like, for instance, if you downloaded Windows 7 with uh, a crack in it or something. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, if you're just downloading uh, free software that some company distributed via uh, torrents, torrenting is not illegal. It's more or less what you're, what you're torrenting. Um, and then you'll need a few files. Um, I'll show them here. So there'd be Halo 2. If you have already, if you already have a, uh, a disc, which would be kind of weird if you had a disc but no product key. Um, if you happen to have the disc, you can use it. Otherwise, just download it. I'll provide. I'll show you where you can download a good copy. Um, Games for Windows Live setup. The a specific update for Halo 2 Vista, and a specific DLL file. Um, so basically we're going to run the setup and it's really nothing more than just uh, installing Halo 2 and making a few adjustments. So customize game install, full install and do not start, continue. And this is virtually the same for Windows Vista and Windows 7. Um, if you try and install this on Windows XP it will not work. Um, you'll have to look elsewhere for instructions on how to install on Windows XP and I can't really guarantee you'll be able to get multiplayer to work. I'm really not sure on that. Basically right here it's going to say you want to activate now or activate later. You're going to activate later and then let it install. Alright, so now it's been installed. I just cut out the installation part, you know, just letting it, watching it install because there's nothing there. All right, so we're going to hit OK, and then we're going to install Games for Windows Live. Actually, we're going to just install the update first. I'm not sure if this, I actually uninstalled my Halo 2 uh, to do this tutorial, so I'm not sure. I mean, it may already be installed. It might have been an uninstalled with Halo 2 Vista, but it just should be a simple patch. And these are both official Halo 2 Vista stuff. So it's not like this is like a sketchy uh, patch or uh, cracks or anything like that from the internet. You don't have to really worry about that. And then the typical games for Windows Live setup. This is this is like a, a web installer, so it, this does not actually contain Windows Live. Actually, I've already downloaded it. I just forgot. I thought I would have to re-download everything. Like apparently, it's intelligent and it found it all. Wow, that was fast. Okay. I was expecting to cut that out. So all right, we're going to close that. For for everyone who's doing it for the first time, um, it's going to take a little while depending on how fast your internet is. So it'll download it all and then it'll install. But mine did it faster. All right, the last thing you're going to need to do is my computer is a 64-bit, um, as probably a lot of people's are. Um, so either you're just going to have program files or you're going to have program files 32-bit uh, or x86. Uh, and, it, you know, if you don't see x86, then you'll just go right to program files. If you see two of them, go to x86. Because on a 32-bit, it's understood that there's not going to be 64-bit programs on a 32-bit computer. Either way, you, and if you do have a 64-bit computer and you're still confused by this, only one of them is going to contain uh, Microsoft games and then Halo 2. And then you're going to see the whole listing. And all you're going to do, I'd actually, I'm actually going to copy it, but you can drag and drop it. Um, we're going to paste that DLL file in there. Technically, it's already in there for me since it's still still left over, but I'm going to say copy and replace and continue. And I'm just going to throw that DLL file in there. We're going to close out of that. And then we'll actually go run it. Actually, no, at first, no. We're going to go to uh, CodeHPro.com. I'm already there. I'll put the links in the description for all this stuff. This is actually the website 
Um, I'm deriving this mainly from the tutorial from uh, Uncut Fighter, but his is 14 minutes long. So I'm just trying to do it much faster than he did it. Um, you're going to use this CD key. I'm going to copy that. Now we're going to go run Halo 2. Basically, you can just search for Halo 2. Otherwise, it's going to be in games. So we're going to run that. And I believe every single time you start up Halo 2, um, it'll ask you to activate. Um, the activation process is a little bit different in this case since we have the DLL file. Um, it'll actually activate within in the game because I believe the DLL file is actually a generic Games for Windows Live uh, I don't know CD key or something. It's it, I don't really have much information on it. Okay, well I guess in this case, let's see if I can back out of this. And... Unfortunately, I have some some of my. Uh, yeah, I've already kind of done this. Basically, when you come in, it'll ask you for your Windows Live ID. You'll need to type all that in. I'm going to sign in. Yeah, see right here, I have all my password, my email, and everything. So I'm going to sign in. And then I'm going to, you can actually just hit Control V on your keyboard because you won't be able to right click. And then it'll literally fill in all the blanks. And then hit Submit, and the key should work. Voila, you are now, everything completely works. I actually tried it out myself, you know, I didn't just browse the server and say, oh, look, it works. I actually jumped into one of these matches, I actually got an achievement for first kill. I stuck somebody, so I got a nice little achievement. So, everything works. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, uh, leave a comment, send me a private message, uh, or go to codehpro.com and see if you can leave a comment and ask for help. Anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful. Thanks for watching.